what happened nine years ago, we are not going to forget. We want justice for DJ. We want justice for the Aboriginal people. Uh, we're here today to demand justice for TJ Hickey, nine years after he was killed by police. I am his auntie. I have marched for nine years. In the nine years, we have been tortured by government officials, housing, docks, Centrelink. We're sick of it. It's about the hundreds and hundreds of Aboriginal deaths in custody, which we still see going on every week, every day, where the cops get away with murder. It's about taking a stand against that. There'll be a march down to Parliament. We'll be presenting the petitions demanding an inquest into his death and to deaths in custody more generally. Hopefully we can kick up a fuss in support of Aboriginal rights. We hear sorry from all the politicians and everyone every day of the week lately, it seems. People have got to unite together as one. We are the originals of this land and it's time that the originals were respected. It is time for us to all unite and stand up together and let's do it and take it to the doors of Parliament. We are not going to tolerate... My name is Peter Boyle. I've been involved in the campaign against Aboriginal deaths and custody since the 1970s around the case of John Pat in Western Australia and was part of the campaign that actually successfully in the end obtained the uh, Royal Commission into Aboriginal deaths and custody. But of course, after the Royal Commission came out, you know, most of the recommendations have been totally ignored and as a consequence, we continue to have this outrageous problem of Aboriginal deaths in custody continuing on and on and on. And there's no sign that it's getting better because right now, as we speak, the incarceration rates for Aboriginal youth in our prison system are increasing every year, not just at a slow rate, but at an exponential rate. And what this means for the future is many, many more Aboriginal deaths in custody. I'm Joe Miles, I'm from the North Coast. And that's all we want, them to stand up for what they done wrong. And be accountable. They like blaming us for doing things, but when they're in the wrong, Can't they brush it under the carpet. My child was also part of deaths in car stands, and it is still allowed to go on. We want justice, the agony that Gail and her family are going through. We want that stopped. You need 500 to have petitions tabled. We have triple that number. We have 1,500. To make the police officers tell the truth about what really went on. In the circumstances that Gail and the family lost TJ is really one of the stains of blood that can't be removed on the history of this country. You have the example of Mulrungi on Palm, how the police sat down and worked out their evidence before they gave it to anybody. In this country, the system says it's all right to kill Aboriginal people. They don't care, it's just a cold number on the paper. They don't care that he lived, that he had family, people who loved him, who he loved. They don't care that he was part of a community. They don't care that we feel Gail's pain every year. I lost my son in 2005 in Perth in a high-speed chase at the priest sort of abort. No answers there still. It is nine years too long. All the bashings of tasers and all that sort of stuff has got to stop now. So many cops, not enough justice. So many cops, not enough justice. So many cops, not enough justice. So many cops. This country prides itself on its so-called justice for all. But we also know that there are four different justice systems in this country. The first justice system is for the rich and the powerful who can buy their way out. It'll be interesting to see what happens to Eddie O'B. The second level of justice is for the police who under no circumstances can be found guilty of their crimes even murder manslaughter doesn't matter the third level is for non-aboriginal australians 
the fourth level is for Aborigines, Torres Strait Islanders, and asylum seekers. We have no justice. We have no justice in this land, our land. And we, today, all of us here, and those who couldn't be here, are demanding that justice finally be done. It is a crime. It's a crime against Aboriginal people and it's a crime against humanity. And we are all made lesser people because this system allows it to happen. What do we want? When do we want it?